the ability to do a lung volume reduction minimally invasively has changed the game. Okay, it's really given us a new option that was never available before. So these are tiny valves. They're smaller than my the tip of my finger, but they allow us to do the same kind of results of actually doing surgery for lung volume reduction without having to do them. There's no cutting involved. There are great outcomes and there's, that's data driven, which was what we didn't have 10 years ago. And frankly, there are guidelines now in terms of who will benefit from these procedures. The valve itself will be placed in an airway and whatever's distal or past that valve that was placed will deflate. And as a result, when it deflates, the diaphragm goes from flat to more curved. Really what we try and do is not just improve the actual lung itself, we try and improve the mechanics of the diaphragm so that breathing is done more involuntarily.